people letting him know of what he is, is going to live with his wife um, that is now in their home, in his home, his family home, um, after she's making it very clear she does not want to be with Don anymore. Is she making, is she opening the door so uh, that uh, Benny Keys can come in and swoop in on Don's area? You know, is he going there for a payday because she's making so much more money uh, through donations and stuff like that? Or is he truly trying to be a friend? Um, you know, based on their body language, based on uh, conversations that it's y'all's business and stuff like that, it sounds to me like people in and around this circle at least have some inclination um, that there's more going on uh, between the two than not. And it comes back to when he went to Rogersville, you know, even last night he was showing the video, which I would have been embarrassed. If I was him, he's bragging about it. And you would think he would be embarrassed of his conduct. I would have been wholly embarrassed um, if I were him and had that type of conduct where he's threatening uh, four people, unarmed people with a log. Um, and I can tell you, you know, he keeps saying that Jonathan was shook. We had footage from Jonathan's phone on that day and you don't see him shaking at all. So what does he mean by shook? Is that just his assumption? Uh, because the video was pretty still. Uh, for somebody being shook, I mean, we saw shook. You know when we saw shook? When we were standing in front of, uh, in Sullivan County, in front of the house that uh, Don and Candace were working on, and her hand was shaking. Now that's shook. So we didn't, Jonathan wasn't shook, but I guarantee Candace was. Um, yes, and I have addressed that. And I'm, I am just wondering how in the world anybody would trust their child uh, with that woman. She's had every single child uh, taken away from her. And the only one that wasn't taken away from her is missing. And she is a person of interest in that disappearance. She's never been cleared. Uh, she's not going to be cleared, uh, in my opinion. Oh, I'm pretty sure people are already writing messages to him. I'm pretty sure he's got a nice stack of mail uh, going to his jail right now, um, you know, of people letting him know of what's what Candace said last night. I guarantee that. <laughs> if anybody knows, as uh, you know, he's the only Don Wells inside Hawkins County uh, Detention Center. So, um, you know, if anybody else would like to send him a nice message, that would probably be the place that you would want to send him any kind of letters. Um, so I will just leave it at that. I don't know who's uh, not keeping it clean, but uh, there is some information in here to keep it clean in the chat. So everybody, please be respectful of the chat and keep it clean. Thank you so much for your cooperation. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha. Okay, that makes sense because I heard about that Cash uh, Gurnan case. I'm assuming that's what you're talking about. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, she did have a, a frown on her face when she he was bringing up Penny. But, you know, um, I just thought it was awfully, you know, if... If Benny doesn't realize at this point that this is a bad decision on his part, that she without a doubt has inappropriate feelings for him, um, I, I don't know what will um, let him know that. You know, you don't go sleep in another man's house when they're in jail with their wife. It just has horrible optics. Um, nothing good can come of it. I am not Benny's friend in the least, but, um, you know, as a, a person um, that doesn't want to uh, see bad things happen to anybody, I'm just saying that's just not appropriate behavior. I hope he heeds the warning, you know, uh, people get injured for doing stuff like that. And I would, you know, despite uh, my feelings, our disagreements, you know, I don't know him personally. Um, I've met him a few times, didn't really care for his behavior. But in, in the grand scheme of things, I really don't know him personally. I have watched some of his videos. I mean, outside of being a spectacle and stuff like that, he does seem, you know, I wouldn't say normal, but he, he does seem uh, likable in, in some respects. I mean, it, it, once you're his friend, he seems like he... Um, uh, you know, has your back, goes to the mattress um, for you. So that, that is commendable. But in the same respect, one thing you don't do is go to another man's home and sleep in another man's home while he is in jail. It's just something you do not do. That is begging and screaming for problems. Begging and screaming for problems. So, um, wow. Wow. Well, hopefully he doesn't do that either because, you know, again, I just don't, I'm not with the whole stepping in somebody else's pond type of thing. You know, that conduct um, uh, leads to problems to each their own. He's not a friend of mine. Uh, you know, he's not um, somebody that I, outside of YouTube, would even give a thought to. Um, uh, but I hope he keeps himself, you know, he, he's, he knows what the heck he's doing and doesn't get himself into problems he can't get himself out of. That's... Uh, 